I am Divya Sama Kumar and in this video we are going to learn how to write the Python program for strong number. Before writing the Python program we will understand what is strong number. Strong number is a special number whose sum of the factorial of digits is equal to the number itself. Now let's look at the examples of strong number. Consider the number is 1. The factorial of 1 is 1. Thus, the sum is also 1. Here, we see that the sum of the factorial of digits is equal to the number itself. So, 1 is equal to 1. So, 1 is a strong number. Now, let's consider 5. Let's consider factorial of 5. Factorial of 5 is 120. Over here, we see that 5 and 120 are not the same. So, 5 is not a strong number. Now, let's consider 145. We will take the sum of the factorial of the digits. That is 1 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial. And the sum of the factorial of the digit is 145. And the number is also 145. Here, the number is equal to the sum of the factorial of the digit. Thus, 145 is a strong number. Now, let's check for 251. How do we check? We first take the factorial of 2, add it to 5 factorial and then add it to 1 factorial. We get 250. Over here, the sum of the factorial of the digits is 240 and the number is 251. So, 251 is not a strong number. Now, let's look at the code for strong number. First and foremost, let's take an input from the user. Let's write n equals in input enter a number. Let's make a copy of this number in n1. So n1 is equal to n. We know that the strong number is the number whose sum of the digits factorial is equal to the number itself. So, let's initialize a variable for sum that is total is equal to 0. Let's initialize it to 0. Now, let's initialize a while loop. While n is not equal to 0, then remainder is equal to n mod 10. When we are dividing by 10, we get the remainder. That remainder, we are saving it up in REM variable. Now, let's initialize a for loop for factorial. Let's initialize by taking f equals 1 for i in range 1 comma REM plus 1, then f equals f into i, and then our total is equals to the previous total plus the f, and then we go on dividing n. Now our n becomes 0. Hence, when we write our conditional statements, we use n1 which has the copy of n. So, if n1 equal equal dot, then print, let's use f string, n1 is a strong number. If else, let's write, let's copy paste the above statement. Else, print f n1 is not a strong number. 
not a strong number. Now let's run this code. What do we get? Enter a number. Let's enter 1. We get 1 is a strong number. We'll run this code again. We'll write 5. 5 is not a strong number. Let's run this code once again. We write 145. 145 is a strong number. Let's run this code once again. Write 251. 251 is not a strong number. I hope the code for strong number is clear for one and all. Thank you.